So it feels like this ear is going forever. So I thought it'd be fitting to create an infinite zoom right here in After Effects, which can be used for transitions, or if you just wanna, you know, have a sequence go on forever, this tutorial is gonna be perfect for you. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's having an excellent day today. So it's a pretty straightforward concept. We're gonna jump into tutorial and we're gonna get started. And as always, you can download our project files for free if you want to follow along. So first of all, this technique works with every single type of media, whether it's a composition, photo, uh, motion graphics, or even video, it works with everything. So whatever you wanna use it for. And the first thing you wanna do is bring in all the media you wanna apply this infinite zoom or transition to. I have my, all my clips here timed up to be one second in length. So it'll go through each clip one by one, and then I'm ready to apply our transition. So get all the clips in your timeline. That's the first thing you do. So to create the infinite zoom is really easy to do. So what we'll do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we'll go to effect, distort, and we'll grab transform. And what we're gonna do here is add a keyframe for scale, and we'll move forward by one second here, and we'll scale forward just by to 110. And this will allow us to constantly be zooming in on our you know, footage, and that's fine. And what we're gonna do here is take our adjustment layer and we're gonna grab the out point over here and bring it all the way in to be the same length of our clip, just like this, so this is one second long as well. So then what we're gonna do is go back to effect, store, and grab the transform effect again. So probably about 12 frames in, what we're gonna do is we'll add a keyframe for scale, and if you want, you can add a keyframe for rotation. And then we'll come here to the end of the clip here, right to the cut, and we're gonna go ahead and scale up our image here to like maybe 185 and then if you want you can add the rotation to 180 degrees if you want to add a rotation to this as well that's completely up to you and then what we're gonna do is uncheck use composition shutter angle and we're gonna set this to 360 awesome then we're also gonna hit you on keyboard to bring up the keyframes and one thing we'll absolutely make sure we do is we'll take our last two keyframes here and we'll kind of just move it over by a couple of frames here and then we'll take the two first keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard to make them easy ease. This will just make it a little bit easier to blend in with the next shot. Basically already halfway done, but before we can finish this up, you'll notice as we zoom in and rotate is we'll get these black borders here. That's really easy to fix. So what we'll do is go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab motion tile. And we'll make sure we place the motion tile effect above all the other effects here. And simply what we're gonna do is increase the output width by a little bit and the output height and check on mirror edges. Beautiful, so that problem is now solved. So now what we can do is take our adjustment layer and go to edit, duplicate, and we'll move this right to the cut. All right, and then we'll come here, we'll delete the first transform effect because we don't need that scale effect in there. And here we are for transform two. And we'll go ahead and just turn off the scale and rotation keyframe so that's back to 100 and zero. And we'll come here right here to the cut and we'll set our rotation to maybe 184 degrees. And then what we'll do is we'll set our scale down to maybe like 45 or so, maybe a little less if you want. Okay, then we'll add a keyframe for scale and rotation and we'll move forward maybe by 12 frames. And we'll set the scale back up to 100 and set the rotation to 360 degrees, it'll say 1x. And then hit U on keyboard to bring the keyframes, make those first two keyframes, easy ease keyframes, and take those first two keyframes there and just kind of move it over by a frame or two so we get that motion blur in there so we'll be zooming in that first image and then we have this nice you know transition over to the next one where we zoom in and it looks beautiful all right and the one thing i want to do is work out these keyframes a little bit better so we hit you on keyboard to bring up all the keyframes and i want to grab our first two keyframes here for our first transition our first uh, adjustment layer and bring the keyframes in and grab the out keyframes here for the second adjustment layer and bring it in by a little bit this will help speed things along so here we still have a very nice smooth transition and now what we can do is take both our adjustment layers and we can duplicate them and bring it to the top and simply we'll just kind of reposition exactly where this needs to be if we need to make any adjustments to the out points of the layers just go ahead and readjust those really quick and now as you see it's simply a matter of just duplicating our transitions um, to make this infinite zoom go by so we'll go ahead and start just duplicating these go as far as long as you need it to be so it's very easy to take this effect and apply it into a sequence of clips to create an infinite zoom and you don't have to have that rotation like we have here so it's completely up to you if you want to use that or not. And to close out this tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our 650 Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here in After Effects. So this is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here inside of After Effects, which holds hundreds of templates ranging from titles, animated backgrounds, call to actions, shape transitions, and more. And for example, if you're looking for a title animation, we can come through here, 
find a title animation that we want by previewing it and click on apply when we find the template that you want. And we automatically get a full title animation imported into our composition, which we can go into that title composition, change out our titles to whatever we need it to say, and we can easily adjust the graphics to fit our titles perfectly. Then it updates automatically in our main composition and we have this animation. And then we can also apply accent motion graphics to help enhance this. So we'll come into our clusters and we'll apply a very quick accent graphic cluster to this. So now we have our title animation with a little bit more detail with our accent graphics to help bring this to the next level. We can also apply an animated background to this or we can go to our expanded library of Sunduck backgrounds and we can find a background that works perfectly for our project and when you find the right template you go ahead and click on apply all right and now we're able to put together a full composition right here inside of after effects by adding titles animated backgrounds and accent graphics to help take this to the next level and we have a handful of different packs for our extension right here in after effects so you can build up your library of templates that you can apply into any project you are working on so if you want to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work, you can take a look at our Motion Graphics Starter Pack. I will link it below. If you do pick up anything off our site, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So that's our tutorial on creating this infinite zoom effect right here instead of After Effects. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me with my social media networks. Those links are below. And always, be creating.